Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. Well, thank you everyone for joining us this afternoon. Um, hello and welcome to Networks Live On Demand. I'm Liz Jones, the Blue Star Families Operations Manager. If you have questions during this webinar, please feel free to ask them. If you're joining us via Zoom, you can ask them using the chat box at the bottom, or on the side, I'm sorry, or the question and answer box. If you're joining us via fa Facebook Live, you can ask your questions in the comments and I'll make sure to bring them forward. Today, we're really excited to have Prudential come on and talk to us about military financial wellness. They're also going to introduce Blue Star, the Blue Star Families Financial Wellness Center and discuss how to use it and what tools it has. Uh, <clears throat> you can open up your own financial wellness center by visiting www.prudential.com slash Blue Star Families. And I'll make sure to put that link also in the chat box and in the comments so that you just have to click on it. Um, with that, I want to introduce Kelly Miller. Kelly is a Prudential Financial Wellness Account Executive. She works on providing a customized approach to educate and empower individuals to make sound financial decisions. And also in the background here is Laura Roberts, and she is Prudential's military program manager. Thank you for being here today. Kelly, do you, uh, did I forget anything? I don't think so. It sounds great. Perfect. Well, thank you, Liz. Um, good morning and good afternoon to everyone. Um, my name is Kelly Miller, and I am delighted to join Blue Star Families in discussing financial tools to get your your uh, house in order, tools to get your financial house in order. Today, we're going to review um, tools, resources, and an incredible amount of educational content for becoming more financially well and creating small steps um, to impact your financial journey. So we'll talk first about what is financial wellness. Then we'll go through the Blue Star Family's customized financial wellness digital portal that Liz mentioned. Um, the site itself has holistic content related to an individual's financial wellness journey, everything from family and finances, topics related to saving for college, talking to teens about money, and several amazing hands-on tools, things like student loan assistance, and even a budgeting tool. We'll start with defining what is financial wellness, and then we'll dive into the portal itself to look at the tools to help you get your financial house in order. Um, then we'll open the line for any questions. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump in. So when we start talking about what is financial wellness, we really start with a definition. Um, it's a very big buzzword, financial wellness right now. And so Prudential believes that financial wellness is when individuals adopt the behaviors that result in those three key areas you can see on the screen right now. So first and foremost, individuals adopting behaviors that result in them being able to manage their day-to-day -day finances. So that could be anything and everything from understanding what's a budget, what is money, how does it grow, why is it important to invest in yourself and pay yourself first. The second area is really built around achieving important financial goals. Those could be goals, things like saving for retirement. It could be things like um, buying a home or making a home purchase or saving for your kiddo's college. And then the third area is protecting themselves against key financial risks. So understanding that a job loss, a disability, or a death could occur, and what protection individuals can put in place today to guard themselves against those key financial risks in the future. So the overall goal of financial wellness with Prudential is really to help inspire each individual to become the CFO of your own financial household. So we're going to provide you some tools and resources and education, but first and foremost, we're going to meet individuals where they are because we know everyone is on their own financial journey. So what we've created in partnership with Blue Star Families is a customized financial wellness digital portal. And um, Blue Star Families can access all kinds of information out here. I'm going to show you a whole bunch of slides so you can see what things will look like. And then we're going to actually jump into the portal. And I'm going to show you a couple of the tools live. 
um, as well. So we have everything from interactive tools, a really neat self-assessment that allows you to kind of gauge where you are right now on your financial wellness journey. We've got some tools around retirement and life insurance and disability. The big thing to know is that everything that we're providing is holistic in nature. So trying to make sure that we're approaching all the different audiences of Blue Star families. So lots of different age ranges, lots of different financial situations um, that we want to make sure we are providing holistic content. And it's non-solicitous. So it's completely financial wellness education. Um, there's all kinds of short and relatable educational articles. Everything can be consumed in about five minutes. And we'll go into that in a little bit more detail. Short little two minute videos about different aspects of financial, <coughs> excuse me, wellness and literacy, as well as the ability to personalize this experience for you and participate in some additional financial wellness educational webinars. So as Liz mentioned, the site itself is prudential.com slash Blue Star Family. And it looks like what you see here. It's got the Blue Star Family's logo and it's got all kinds of different um, tabs of information. So from home to interest to tools and life events. And we'll explore each of those tabs. And after the call, we're going to send you the link as well. It's, we're going to broadcast that everywhere. So you'll have access to it in case you forget what it is as well. Just a quick overview of the portal itself. So this customized digital financial wellness portal or financial wellness center has been built with over 300 articles, videos, interactive guides, all related to financial wellness. So it's available 24 seven. When you're ready to access the information, it's ready for you. So you'll have the ability to look at information articles um, that you can read and you can kind of dig in and we'll show you some examples. You can also register for our monthly webinars that are on our homepage as well. On the page, you'll have the ability to register for the upcoming webinar. You can also watch the previous webinar if you missed it live. Um, we have a section called trending, which as the name implies, it's the really neat popular stuff right now that's trending. And so you can see things um, that are highlighted right now. So military families, avoid predatory lending and putting your finances first. The site itself is completely computer friendly, obviously, and mobile friendly. You don't even have to download a separate app for it. So we've tried to make it as easy to access information as possible. Lots of topics of relevance in that trending section. And again, everything's been built on the site itself to be consumed in about five minutes. So we know that people don't want to read hours and hours and hours of information related to the blended retirement system, or we, at least we don't think people want to. So we want to provide bright and brief snippets of information. We've even identified how quick these reads are. So if you wanted to click on this article, for instance, you can see that this is about a six minute read. So everything can be consumed in about five to six minutes or so. Um, and again, because it is completely mobile friendly, we've seen people use it when they're sitting in appointments, waiting for things in car lines, all those types of things. Um, so bright and brief snippets of information. In addition to the trending section, there are five main categories of information on the portal itself. We have categories um, like retirement planning, managing debt, saving and investing, family finances, and preparing and protecting. So with that holistic approach, we know that we need to provide content that can be relatable to everyone in some facet. Um, within each of those categories, the portal itself highlights the top four or five articles related to um, that topic. So you can see under managing debt, there are a couple of articles right here that you can see. And then you can always explore more to dig in for other articles and content related to that main category of information. Within each of these sections, these main categories, again, articles, quick little two minute videos that you can watch about um, that content so that as you're getting your financial house in order, you can dig further and further and look for information related to the topic of interest to you. 
Here's another example of kind of what it looks like as well. Here's the retirement planning category. And it also shows you where you can register for webinars as well. Takes you on a little tour. There's some of the articles related to managing debt and saving and investing as well. And then here's the section around um, preparing and protecting. So as we talked about, making sure that you have a plan in place and this gives you small tidbits of information so that you can take small steps on that financial wellness journey. Taking little small steps can help and add up to those bigger financial changes and helping with that protection that you're looking to build in place. One way that you can start with the portal itself is to create a profile. So when you go to the site, prudential.com slash bluestarfamilies, it will give you the option of logging in or creating a profile. This is completely optional, but creating a profile is just as easy as um, inputting your name, a username, and a password. And then it allows you as a registered user to make the site a little bit more interactive and intuitive to your experience. So there are interest tabs. There are 12 different articles or content um, of tabs that allows you to customize your user experience by selecting topics that matter most to you. So it again makes it a little bit more intuitive to your interest. So I have a younger family and so under my profile I have things like for your family, paying for your college and when I log in those are the types of articles and the videos and the content that show up that make it more resonate with me as compared to one of my teammates. He is in his early 60s and he's more interested in things like preparing for retirement and managing your estate. So when he looks at his site, if we pulled them up on two computers next to each other, they look completely separate or completely independent, obviously completely different on that side because they have been customized to our interests. So it's one way to take that step of making the site a little bit more user-friendly for you by things that are of interest to you. The heart of the portal itself for the Financial Wellness Center is really built around the tool section. So under the tools section, we have um, all kinds of different things related to our financial wellness assessment. That's my favorite. So we're going to save that one to the end. Um, we have lots of different calculators, retirement calculators, disability, life insurance calculators. We're going to spotlight our debt manager tool and then our budgeting tool and also our student loan assistance tool. Because if we want to help inspire you to become the CFO of your financial household, we need to give you tools and resources. And these are those hands-on activities for you to get in and impact your financial wellness journey. So we'll start with the budgeting tool. This is called a budgeting aggregator. Um, and you can see it has the little circle icon down here that says plan a budget. It is a budgeting aggregator and that it'll, it allows you to link up to 15,000 different financial accounts in one spot to your budget. So things like your bank account, your credit card, your mortgage, your auto loan, so that you can see all your financial institutions in one space. Um, it does have a separate layer of added security, obviously, because you're linking financial accounts to it. Um, and my husband and I did this. And so we linked our bank account, our credit card, our kids' 529 plans for college, our life insurance, our mortgage. And we can now see all the money coming in, or I guess I should say, we can see the money coming in and all the money going out. And so we can see and build our budget off of our own actual expenses. Um, and it's updated on a daily basis with each of those financial institutions. So as the CFO of our house, we now have everything kind of consolidated in one easy view, which is great. It has brought up that I go to Target a lot and shop at Amazon a lot because we see all of those transactions now in this budget piece. But it's really allowed us to build um, our own budget based on what we were actually spending our money on um, and kind of real time, if you would, on that side. So that's a really nice way to not only build a budget, but continue to stick with your budget because it'll give you some tips 
and ways to ensure that you're looking at all your accounts in a collective basis on that side. Here's a couple of examples of what it looks like as well, so that you can kind of manage all your personal finances and your budget on a single site. You can track your spending by category. Um, so things like you can see entertainment and restaurants and cash withdrawals from the ATM and travel. And you can set what those are as well. And then again, it's updated daily with your financial institutions. So um, you can see your up-to-date balance on a daily basis for all of your accounts linked together. Another really neat tool that we have is called our debt manager tool. So when we're talking about someone's financial wellness journey, we obviously need to talk about each facet of that, um, that journey. And one of those is being in debt. And so the debt manager tool um, allows people to look at how to prioritize payments and build a way to dig yourself out of debt. So it allows you to start by inputting your debt. So things like if you had an auto loan, if you had a mortgage, if you have a credit card debt, you can put lots of different things in this drop down. There's several different options. And you can see in this example, we have a car loan um, with a $12,000 balance at about 4% interest and a monthly payment of $350. It shows us the date that we started our payment for that loan. And then as you add more different debts in, you have the ability to kind of create a plan to get out of debt. So you can look at different ways to snowball your debt. You can look at ways to say, if I had an extra $10 a month, how soon would I pay that car loan off? So it kind of goes through lots of different scenarios as you're looking at the different debts that you may have within your house. Probably our most popular new tool has been our student loan assistance tool. So we know that student loan debt is alarming. The statistics are crazy high around what things look like for those that have student loan debt. Um, life with student loans, you can see about 70% of those that graduate are graduating with student loan debt. And the average monthly payment for student loans right now is about $550 a month which really is starting to help uh, or to impact and hinder people's abilities to, you know, buy, buy daily necessities, things like groceries, electric bills. And we're now starting to see a trend where people are saying, I can't pay my student loan debt, my other debt, and put aside money for um, retirement. So how do I do it all? We'd be remiss if we started talking about financial journeys and we didn't include student loan debt. So we have partnered with Vault, um, who is an independent student loan uh, tool. They used to be called Student Loan Genius, and they just kind of rebranded their name. Um, and the Vault tool is, is housed on the digital portal. It's this kind of uh, coin with the graduation cap and tassel on it. And it allows individuals to go out onto the Vault site and look at ways to impact their student loan debt. So it's got lots of different calculators that people can look at. They have the ability to look at federal loans, again, in alignment with all of our kind of objectives on the site. It takes about five to seven minutes to complete and look at different options. So it starts with um, an individual inserting or inputting their information related to their student loan debt, and then they get to choose one of three goals. And they can explore each of these routes. They can look at lowering their monthly payment. So if they wanted to not pay $550 a month, but they wanted to pay $500 a month, what would be the impact of that to the life of their loan? They can look at paying their debt off faster. So if they said, hey, I've got some extra, I want to be done with this debt. If I paid it off faster, what would that look like? And how much would that impact my monthly payment? And then they can look at refinancing it as well. So the beauty of the relationship with Vault is that they are independent. They are not a refinancer themselves. They're kind of like the Travelocity. They house different refinancers on their site, but they don't refinance themselves. So they're completely independent of that. So they're not like referring people to a specific refinancer by any means. 
And the really neat part about this tool is that as someone goes through this, they have the option at any point to ask a question to um, uh, an education advisor, or they can also schedule a one-on-one -on -one with an education advisor at Vault. We know that student loan debt is very specific, it's very personal, and it can um, be very unique. And so that opportunity for individuals to connect with that education advisor and to kind of talk through their personal situation has really been a, an additional tool that's uh, worked really well with the, the student loan piece. So here's a couple of screenshots of what it looks like. Um, because if I logged into the portal right now to show you, you would see my information. So I'm gonna show you some kind of generic profile shots of what this looks like. You'll input your basic information. Where do you live? Your marital status? Um, how much you made on your last tax return? It'll ask you credit score and it kind of gives you some ranges and that's to look to see if you would be eligible for refinancing if you were interested in that. It asks about how many dependents you have and then it even asks about your work. So if you work for a, a nonprofit or governmental organization or if you teach it at Title I or a nonprofit school, because there's often loan forgiveness options with that. And again, that's the great beauty of that one-on-one -on -one advisor to be able to talk through some of those situations. It also allows you to log into your federal student aid ID and it will automatically import all your existing federal loans. So you can see all your loans in one consolidated spot. So kind of like that budgeting tool, the student loan tool pulls every loan that you have on the federal side together. You can also manually add any private loans as well. And then it allows you to explore those three options. Again, you can look at refinancing, you can look at paying your debt off faster or lowering your monthly payment. And again, here's kind of the screenshot of what it looks like if you wanted to connect with that education advisor. All in all, it helps you really build a plan to help tackle that student loan debt, um, which we know is one of those big financial impacts in your financial household. The last piece of the tools before we open it up for questions is our financial wellness assessment. And I gave you a little foreshadowing that this is my favorite because it is indeed. It's 20 questions. It's a self-assessment around one's behaviors related to their finances and really their financial journey. It's emoji-based because we know people don't really like to answer questions about money. We try to take that stigma out of it. Um, and it takes about five minutes. Again, you can see that common theme there. And then at the end, it provides three custom recommendations with links to tools, resources, and guidance that are housed within the portal related to your financial journey. So it is this icon that says um, financial wellness. What is financial wellness? And I'm gonna actually flip out now and show you the actual site so that we can walk through it live. So you can see what the financial wellness journey um, and self-assessment looks like. So you should now be able to see the actual um, digital portal for Blue Star Families. So we highlighted some of those tools in that PowerPoint. I'll take you on a quick tour of what it looks like. So you can see um, here's the financial wellness assessment. Here's the trending spot we just looked at, those interest tabs, and then the five main categories of information. You've got the retirement piece, again, the managing debt, saving and investing, family finances, and preparing and protecting. Um, and so again, lots of really great content for you to explore and kind of dig into ways that would be helpful to impact with your family. Um, but we're going to jump now into the tool section. And this is where we just walked through a lot of these tools kind of one on one. And we're going to now walk through the financial wellness assessment. So you can see here's that budgeting tool we talked about, um, the debt manager tool. We've got our financial wellness assessment. And it starts with a few questions. So again, it's 20 questions. It's more. Um, behaviors based, less numbers based. 
So we'll walk through what this looks like. And I would say if you take one piece of information away from this um, conversation and this uh, webinar is to go out and try the self-assessment. Um, you know, and then let that lead you on ways to look at different other resources and articles and content that are out there. But this is a great starting point uh, on your financial wellness journey. So we ask questions like, how stressed are you about your financial situation? You can see we have not at all stressed, somewhat stressed, or very stressed. We'll kind of answer middle of the road so you guys can see what it looks like. What's causing your level of stress? Well, it's our monthly bills, it's our student loan debt and our credit card debt, um, saving for the future. What's your total household income before taxes? And when would you like to retire? Then we ask at the end of every month, how much of what you earn are you able to save? So you can see that spectrum of I spend more than I earn to I save a good amount. So we'll go with, I spend my full paycheck. Do you pay your bills on time and in full each month? You can see we have the emoji without a smile. There's no mouth on this guy because they never pay in full or on time. Um, we have never pay in full, but generally on time. We've got all the spectrum of generally pay in full and on time or always pay in full and on time approximately how much are your monthly debt payments? So things like your mortgage, your rent, your car payments, your credit card debt, your electric bill, just an estimate uh, on that side. We'll just put a number in. Based on what you know of your credit score, how do you think it is? And if you don't know, you can always click the skip or don't know button. And then have you checked your credit report in the last 12 months? So there's lots of neat ways and easy ways to check your credit score. And we know credit scores can be so impactful on someone's financial wellness journey. So that's a great reminder on that piece. We then ask, when you think about saving money for the future, which of these timeframes is most important to you? So is it the next few weeks? Um, is it the next few years? The next year or next few years? Or five years or more? We also ask if your plan allows, how much do you contribute to your workplace retirement plan? And again, if you don't know, you can skip. Um, then we ask, how confident are you that your savings will be sufficient for retirement? And we've got that full spectrum. Um, how often do you plan ahead for large expenses? So never, rarely, often, or always. Things like maybe buying a new car or making, um, you know, a new air conditioner purchase. All those fun adult things that we get to do. Are you covered by life insurance other than through work? Yes. No. If you were suddenly out of work and without an income, how long would you be able to cover your household expenses? So I love that this image really resonates with the question. So. If you did not have a job, how long is your battery going to last? If you don't have an income coming in, how long, what's that emergency financial situation look like? Um, so we'll pick one to two months. Do you have a written will? Um, we're going to say yes on that one. And that's as quick and easy as it is. So you can see um, that we have the ability to look quickly at um, some of those questions that we're asking. Then it does ask a couple of demographic questions. How old are you? What's your marital or your gender? Sorry. What's your marital status? And how many dependents do you have that currently rely on you for financial support? Then it gives us a visual representation of that definition of financial wellness. So how are you doing related to managing your day-to-day -day finances? Are you on track to achieve your long-term goals? And are you prepared for financial emergencies? And you can see on that gear shift of what that looks like based on how we answer those questions. And then it provides three areas of recommendation based on how you've answered those questions. Um, within each of those recommendations, what's really great about this is it provides you a link to a resource or a tool or an article within the site itself. 
So if you start with this self-assessment, it really helps you take kind of an, a holistic approach to where you are today and then gives you some guidance on things to consider. So you can see, for instance, number one, you can take control. Spending less than you earn is the foundation of achieving financial wellness. Consider creating a monthly budget and reviewing it regularly. So if we clicked on this tool right here or this link, it would take us to that budgeting tool um, so that we could build our budget out on that side. So that's a very high level overview of the site itself, a high level overview of a handful of those tools that we have. Um, and again, our financial wellness assessment. Hopefully you guys have found that helpful. I think we are now going to switch back in um, to see if there are any questions around the site or any of the content that we have covered. So Liz? Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, I do have some questions. So one that came in, is this, is this free? Great question. It is. It is actually a free service that Prudential is offering in partnership with Blue Star Families. It's free to Blue Star Families and it's free for each and every one of you guys that have um, access to it. So it's just our way of continuing to provide um, back to the community in which you guys, we all live and serve. Great. Um, my, the next question that I have that came in was uh, pretty much, do you have to be a provincial um, like account member or a, a member just in general? Great question. So nope, this is related and available to Blue Star families. You don't have to have any existing relationship with Prudential or even any future relationship with Prudential. So this will allow you just access to that financial wellness information. Um, at Prudential, we have an, a department called our Veterans Initiative Department um, that has partnered with Blue Star Families to bring this content uh, to you guys at no cost and with no requirement that you be a Prudential um, account holder or anything on that side. Thanks. Um, so this is a kind of uh, kind of a strange question, but it, it makes sense. Like in that portal, when it was talking about when you were doing the self assessment, it said, "Do you have a will?" And um, if you you answered no when we were going through it, um, but if you are you answered yes when if you answered no, would it send you like links or something to uh, read more about like getting a will or why you should have a will? Yes, oftentimes. Often if you answered, 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 it will oftentimes pop up as one of those three areas of recommendation. So it'll provide oh, you some of the links to the tools and the resources. Um, while the site itself doesn't have the ability to help you write a will, so there's not like online will prep, but it can tell you the importance of why you should have a will and things to think about with um, have, why it's important to have one, the pitfalls of not having one in place. Um, on that side. So yeah, there's lots of content related to wills, estate planning, trust, beneficiaries, uh, that falls in that kind of preparing and protecting category primarily. Thanks. Um, another question that we had was off the, just kind of off the top of your head, what topics do your webinars usually cover? Oh, good question. We have everything from, um, we've got webinars around saving for college. We have webinars around, hold on one second, I'm trying to pull the list up really quickly so I can read it to you guys. We have webinars around um, a roadmap to retirement. We have webinars around buying your first home. Um, it's your estate, are you in control? We had a webinar around student loans, how to pay off your debt. Um, understanding a health savings account. We have one around social security benefits, things like what you should know about life insurance. We even have a really good one called teaching your children good money habits. And then some of the basics like budgeting and debt management, um, the basics of savings and investing, healthcare and retirement. So lots of different topics that are out there. <clears throat> Well, thank you, Kelly. Um, I'm waiting for a few more questions to come in. If you guys have any, please use the chat feature. Oh, or you can use the question and answer, or you can definitely put them in the comments and I'll make sure to bring them forward. Um, 
if not, we can go ahead and wrap it up. Um, did I have, is there anything else that you would like to cover? That's it on my side. We are very excited to partner with you guys and provide this content. Um, thank you guys so much. And like I said, I always say just start with that self-assessment. So have a great day and we appreciate your time. Thank you so, so much. And if anyone needs to get a hold of me, I'm at L Jones at bluestarfam.org. And if you have questions for Kelly or Laura, you can email me and I'll make sure that it gets to them. All right. Thank you so much. Bye, Kelly. Thank you. Goodbye.